What up? It's your boy Nick from MMA Pixels here with The Wolf, Mark Worth. How you doing, Mark? I'm doing good. Loving California weather. Right on. Mark is 7-0 amateur, number 6 flyweight in camo. Before that, you won a bunch of Muay Thai titles, right? Um, I actually uh, I uh, did two uh, amateur uh, kickboxing in Japan and then two uh, amateur uh, boxing matches in Japan as well. But uh, no titles were up uh, during that time. So. Right on. So, wow. How how'd you get to Japan? Thank you for your service. Would you say your military service launched it or, or being in, in that culture in Japan? Um, just, I, I would say both, you know. I, I, uh, I thought uh, the military life was uh, great. It gave me tons of opportunities and I experienced that uh, uh, because we stayed on base and then we also got to go off base and experience that Japanese culture as well and that was pretty uh, amazing uh, culture as well. Well, did you get to go to any other places? So now you're here in California. You're uh, training with a pretty big team. Where are you training at? Um, right now I'm training uh, yeah, in Sacramento with uh, the best team in the world, Team Alpha Male. And it's, uh, it's just been an, a great experience. They've welcomed me uh, in with open arms and made a lot of good friends. So it's been, a, it's been a good experience. There's currently a lot of young talent in that gym that's coming up uh there's, you're starting to see it uh, more on local shows, UFC, um, like the Fight Pass events. There's a couple guys that have been doing well. Uh-huh. I've I seen on your uh, social media you've been actually training with a couple of them and posting it up. Do you think that really helps with training with the high caliber training partners? Uh, yes, absolutely. I think training, like at such an amazing gym like Team Alpha Mary, you get all kinds of uh, fighters from all around the world, and a lot of them are at the top of their you know rankings in those regions so to really just be able to train with the best and learn uh, share experiences you know some of my weaknesses maybe their maybe their uh could be their strengths and so we kind of just trade off on each other you know and we learn from each other so it really is just a huge boost and then on top of that career wise you know a lot of people don't understand the right path take when they want to reach like the big promotions like UFC or Bellator or something like that well you you got so many fighters in the gym that have taken that path and they kind of you know you can learn from their mistakes they give you advice you know what to look out for you know bad managers bad opponents you know so they kind of help set you up for success and just the training aspect and then also just um, making the right career choices Right. Well, you went through a, a flawless amateur career, and now you're making your transition into pro. I'm sure that's uh, they've been a huge help in that. Yes, absolutely. They've um, my friend Benito Lopez, who's actually who's been fighting out of or- he's from Orville and he's been fighting out of there for quite about uh, quite a bit of years. Um, he actually uh, helped me get in touch with King of the Cage. So I mean, you know, just with those connections alone, it's, it's helping set set up my future career. Right, he's definitely one of my favorite fighters. He is so exciting. Uh-huh. Such a great guy. He really is truly uh, motivating, and he's always there in my corner. He's been a he's he's definitely going to be in my corner for this fight, and he's going to be working with me through camp. So it's going to be. I'm I'm very lucky to have somebody uh, such a skilled fighter, just a good friend. 
me on my corner. So we got you. We got your corner man picked out. We got a date, King in the Cage, April 14th, flyweight, uh, Orville, California. The only thing missing is an opponent. What's going on? Is no one willing to step up to fight you? I don't know. I mean, Team Alpha Male is a big name, and I mean, I do have a pretty good record. I have fought some uh, high-ranking amateurs uh, since I've been in California, so I'm not sure yet. We'll we'll find out. They haven't got back to me. I'm I'm hoping. I mean, I I don't want to go too far out of my professional experience, but I'm looking around at least you know somewhat they have one pro fight or about the same making their debut too but we'll see i'm not sure whoever they put in front of me it really it really doesn't matter so where can the fans connect with you at social media um so they can actually uh just follow me on instagram mark the wolf Worth, and they can also hit my like page on facebook uh mark the wolf and um i mean i i do uh Facebook I, and uh, just a personal one too if they also want to you know reach me that way and um, I mean I also have uh, all my most of my amateur fights on YouTube so I mean if they want to just check out check me out and see what I'm about you know I, I do love striking that that's my strength you know but I'm not afraid to take it to the ground either so they can just catch me on uh, you know YouTube and uh, Instagram well, I appreciate your time. Is there anything that we didn't cover that you'd like to talk about? Um, actually, uh, I do want to mention, you know, um, what separates me, too, from a lot of fighters is um, I'm also a full-time student. I'm trying to go to school at the same time, make my, you know, career as a professional fighter. And I also have two kids. I have a wife, and I, I did serve in the military. I just want to let everybody know, you know, I'm not a normal fighter, you know, I, I, I live and breathe, you know, hard work, that's all I do, I live for the grind, and I'm, I'm gonna definitely, I definitely, my main message is I want to inspire people too, you know, hard work is gonna get you where you need to go, and I'm a very, I'm a godly man, so I know I couldn't have done this either without God, so he's always on my side, I'm at, on my corner, so I just want everybody to know that. I appreciate the message, Mark. I'm sure you touched somebody. Mark the Wolf Worth, King of the Cage, April 14th. Somebody step up. Give this man a fight.